<laughs> Hi, my name is Calvin Borrell. Uh, uh, I went uh, on Street Sense in 07, the Kentucky Derby, Bacar Nassau, and uh, 010 on Super Saver, and oh, Mind That Bird. Uh, probably, well, the first Derby most probably was the greatest moment of my life, but uh, all three of them were great, and uh, had a lot of success in my life, and this past week I got uh, inducted to the Hall of Fame, which is very great. Uh, revolutionary, I rode in the Derby this year, or ter I mean, 2013. Uh, I run third, run a good race, and uh, I'm very high on him, and uh, I love him going back into Belmont Stakes. Uh, and I got to give Todd and him a lot of credit for giving me the opportunity to ride him. Um, it's the same combination as Super Saver, so maybe we'll get lucky. No, we do. A, I, I do a lot of. Uh, uh, I uh, donate a lot of my time to the horseman uh, retirement horses. Horses. I I do that a lot. Me and the wife, and you know, it's just like horses I rode in the past that have retired, and it gives them a home. So, and uh, I I support that a lot. The best horse I ever rode, most probably, was uh, Rachel Alexander, a filly. If if you wouldn't. Uh, Matter of fact, I took off the Derby winner to ride her in the Preakness. Uh, I took off a Mind That Bird and rode Rachel Alexander, and uh, she went to Preakness, and Mind That Bird ran second in the Preakness. And then I got back on Mind That Bird and rode him into Belmont and run third on him. But I, I would say she most probably was the greatest horse I've ever been on because uh, she was just a three-year-old filly, and she run against three-year-old coach and old horses and everything else and she beat them you know hands down i mean she she was undefeated you know she went like 10 in a row and against older horses so she was more probably the greatest horse i ever been yeah she was very game i mean you would not imagine uh she 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 was a wonder horse i mean there's good horses and there's how would i say there's good and uh great and you know just great great horses i mean and she was a great great horse i mean she she lay it down you know no matter what i mean the day she, i went on her in the hasco against the old boys it, it was just amazing you know to see what she did because she was just a three-year-old filly uh no my last british cup win was on street sense in 07 that was the year i win the british cup and then i come back and win the derby on him which was a uh, it was it was history, matter of fact. But you know, I mean, it had never been done winning the Breeders' Cup just after and then coming back and winning the Derby. They hadn't had a three-year-old that had ever did it, and he did it. And then Rachel Alexander, she she made history by beating the boys, you know, beating the coach in the high school, and then the old boys at Saratoga. Well, uh, riding the rail was I, I was my brother used to ride, and now he trains, you know, and. Uh, I was taught that way when I first started riding, you know, I mean, uh, he'd always preach to me, you know, save ground, save ground, save ground, and uh, it just become a habit, you know, and uh, I realized it, I mean, I win over 5,000 races, but I realized it in the big races where it does, you know, it makes a big difference, you know, especially around the turns and stuff, and uh, most probably one of the reasons I accomplished, you know, winning big races is by saving so much ground, you know, like mind that bird, and he was 50 to one, you know, and and he, I saved every inch of ground with him, and matter of fact, took him back from last, you know, and, but I had, you know, went back to his one two-year-old campaign and looked at his races where he did like to run like that, so I went back to that, you know, remedy, and uh, he showed up that day, and it wasn't a fluke because he come back and run second to Rachel in the Preakness, you know, but, I mean, it's just natural, <laughs> you know, saving ground. I mean, I, my brother preached to me for 10 years, you know, teaching me since I was 12 years old. Just, you know, it's the shortest way around there. No, not really. I mean, you know, some people dread it because if, if you have speed and your horse doesn't leave there good, you know, mm -hmm. you get yourself in trouble. But I'm not really much of a speed rider. I'd rather come from behind. And so it, it does not threaten me too much, you know.